The Niagara Falls Sports and Hobby Expo brings together stars of the athletic world from across the spectrum. This year's version saw the likes of Cito Gaston rubbing shoulders with Wendell Clark and also included a number of different new activities to keep the kids interested. Last year we kind of assessed the show and uh, we knew that for us, if in order for us to, to really grow the show, we, uh, we thought that it would be uh, beneficial to have some interactive uh, displays and things that are great for the, for the kids and the families. Tell me uh, about the process of getting some of these uh, big name superstars to come here for an event in Niagara Falls. It's a lot of work behind the scenes. I know Chris, Christopher Dabrowski is one of the uh, high impact PR. He's one of my the partners of the show. Uh, he, uh, he does a, a, a tremendous amount of work with the, a lot of the agents trying to secure the talent. And uh, it just, it's like I said, it's a, 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 probably months and months of planning just from anywhere from the flights to uh, accommodations to, to actually get him here at the show. Former Blue Jay manager Cito Gaston took time from following the team at spring training in Florida to come up to Niagara to meet his fans. Well, you know, I actually live in that area, so I go to the ballpark maybe once a week. I, I try to stay out of the way. <laughs> I will go up to Montreal and uh, see those two exhibition games with uh, Cincinnati, so that should be fun. I had not been back in Montreal in a long time, which is a great city, too. Do you do a lot of these signings at events like this? I really don't. You know, I don't do a lot of these, but I've been asked so many times to come, and I feel guilty, so I come. I mean, uh, it's it's a good thing. I get to meet some good fans and uh, some nice people. Of course, I got to meet you today, and that's great. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful city, too. Representatives from the Canadian Motor Speedway were in Niagara Falls to promote the prospective new racetrack in Fort Erie. Canadian Motor Speedway is here because we really want to spread the word that the, even though the project's taken so long, that we're here, it's moving forward, we're in our final stages of the design and final stages of the approval process with the MTO and once we get through that in about nine months we are looking to have our building permits and can begin two years of construction. Now, after those two years and nine months, this promises to be Canada's biggest stadium. Is that true? Yes, uh, with the 65,000 seats, our 40 corporate suites in their seating, it'll put it as Canada's largest stadium. And it'll also be Canada's largest oval speedway. And we'll have about 250 events a year with motorsports, non-motorsports, our educational partners, uh, Niagara College and McMaster will be will be part of the process doing testing, automotive manufacturer testing. It's uh, It'll basically become a city within a town and we're just looking forward to finally getting the real shovels in the ground. Fans line up with all kinds of items to get signed, jerseys, baseball bats, hockey sticks and kitchen appliances. I've yet to have a Leaf player say they've signed a toaster before and they're all amazed and they want to know if it makes toast. <laughs> you actually use it? I've never used it, no. It's, it sits on the shelf. as It's a good way to get a lot of Leaf autographs in one spot for display um, without having to take up a lot of room and just brings back a lot of memories of getting to meet all these players. Can you give me an idea whose names are on that toaster? Oh yeah, I've got uh, Daryl Sittler, Doug Gilmore, Wendell Clark. I've got, uh, let's see, uh, James Van Riemsdyk, Bernier, Kadri, Dick Duff, um, Mike Palmatier. Uh, there's about 41 right now. Wendell, how much time do you spend uh, at events like this signing autographs for fans? Uh, a lot of different events, different occasions, and this is uh, just another one here in Niagara, so they're always a lot of fun meeting the fans. Now, you wore the C for the Maple Leafs for many years. Um, what's it like to wear that C? Uh, it's an honor when the team uh, uh, thinks you're able to wear the C and be represent the team, and that's, uh, that's a huge honor in Toronto. You're doing some demonstrations here at the uh, Niagara Falls Sports Expo. What do we expect to see? Uh, yes, uh, we want to demonstrate how uh, many of our services are great for athletes as well uh, in any sport and people in the general public looking to, for fitness. So uh, real rider demonstrations all day, you can try out the bikes. And we have children's agility and sport races. And we're uh, currently going to do a yoga demonstration for flexibility and strength. You bring up your nickname, The Beast. If you look at me, if I was in the ring, what would you call me? Do you have martial arts background or anything like this? Nothing whatsoever. Nothing whatsoever. Well, okay. If, if I was going to put you in, in the world of professional wrestling, we get you a nice, cheesy looking suit jacket. We call you the Weasel. Yeah. The Niagara Falls Sports and Hobby Expo was a huge success for the second straight year. Organizers now turn their attention to Comic Con, also taking place at the Scotiabank Convention Center, June 5th to 7th. Reporting in Niagara Falls for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.